How's it going guys? My name's Wanzie Bayonet and I'm here with a quick little video on how to patch Moemon to Pokemon Emerald and Pokemon Fire Red. Now, I've had a lot of people asking me how to do this, so I thought that I would make a nice little video for my 250 sub special on how to patch it so that if you get stuck or anything you can just come onto this video and click it and you'll already know how to do it. So here we go, let's just get into it. Now the things you're going to need are Pokemon Fire Red ROM, a Pokemon Emerald ROM, the patches for both, so that's Moemon Emerald and Fire, uh, Moemon Fire Red, excuse me, and then you're also going to need a patching software such as Win IPS or Luna IPS. Now, I'm going to show you where to get all of this stuff, but there will be a link down in the description just in case you can't find it anywhere. So don't worry about that. Anyway, let's just get into it. Now, in case you want to find it yourself, I'm going to show you how to do this now. Go onto Google, type in Pokemon Fire Red ROM, which will be right there at the top. And then it should come up with Pokemon Fire Red on coolrom.co.uk. Click that. Go down to the bottom, which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna download it all just in case because I need. I'm gonna do it myself just from scratch, just to show you what works. So we're gonna wait 15 seconds for it to download, and then a little box should appear in the middle saying "Download your file." When that appears, we're gonna click that, and that will be that will be that. So we're gonna wait five, four, three, two, one. Click that, download your file, and we're going to save this into our downloads folder. Now it will be a zip file, so it's not just an automatic ROM, it's an actual zip, it's a zip file, so you have to unzip it first, so we're going to open this up, I've got three versions, it should just come up as Pokemon Fire Red though, so we're going to extract files, and you should have a folder for it already, if not just extract it to the desktop, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to open that up, and we're going to rename it, because I've already got a Fire Red ROM, so I'm going to call it Example. Fire Red Example. There we go. And we don't need that, so that's fine. That's done. We've got that. Now, what you want to do now, so let's just go off this and go back onto Google. What you want to do now is find the patch for it. So go onto Google and type in Moemon Fire Red. And don't click this. Don't click the big file. Don't click the big link. Go down and click po uh, Moemon Fire Red Revival Project. Click that one. It should take you to this page with the Magikarp. That's how you know you're in the right place if you see Magikarp standing on a box. So that's cool, that's cool. Uh, you can scroll down, I'm going to try to avoid them. But you should get to this uh, area which has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I think that's 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's uh, 7. But however many it is, what you want to do is you want to click on the top one here which says Moemon Patch Revival Project 1.3 and you should have an arrow saying this is the latest patch, so you click that and then you go down here, click click here to start download from SendSpace and that should also download, so I'm going to download that as well so that's, that's Fire Red, that's everything we need for Fire Red except for one so we're going to open up another Google tab and search for Luna IPS and that should be here in ROM Hacking Utilities so let's go back, not the first one, the, bottom, uh, the second one so you click that, then click download file now save file and that's everything you need for fire red so now we're just going to go into here it should be there Moemon revival project if you try and open that like that it should come up with select file to patch now you find the file that you've made you find your rom so my rom is in pokemon fire red and it is pokemon fire red example but just in case it messes up what you want to do is you want to make a copy of it so you click copy and then paste and that should come up with a copy so the file you want to patch is this and then you click that and then that should be done that should simply be done so now we're going to open up visual boy advance click on file open and it should be there pokemon fire red example dot gba click that and it should load up properly it should work uh, let's skip through this i'm not i'm just gonna speed through this a second and you'll know it works by going through the game hello there glad to meet you welcome to the world of pokemon my name is oak this world and it should come up and i'm just going to zoom in real quick it should come up with a nidoran sprite that's a moemon and that no that's how you know you've done it correctly it should come up properly there however for emerald it's slightly different so what we're going to do is we're going to find the emerald rom which should be if i type in on google pokemon emerald Pokemon Emerald ROM. Download that from Cool ROMs doing the exact same thing you did for Fire Red. Uh, I'm gonna do this as well because I haven't got one 
like I'm trying to do it from scratch so you can just copy me if, if you still get stuck. So there we go, uh, if you ask one to message, you just gotta wait 8 seconds for it to download, duh, 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 duh. so that's 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and it should come up again, so download your file, save file, uh, go off that, uh, wait until that's downloaded, and then we're gonna go back off that, so let's click back, and type in Moemon Emerald. And as you should see, I'm actually there. <laughs> I'm actually the second thing that comes up if you type in Moe One Emerald, but that's nice. Um, Moe One Emerald Patch, 20th of March. So that should come up to this page, which has the, uh, created by Dodge Flyer. Which, if you scroll down to the bottom, after all of these screenshots, it should take you to a, the only download there, which is this. And you click that, which will take you to a Mediafire page. Click download that. Wait for the download to start, which, there we go, save file, and that's, that should be done, so go off that, you've got your emerald, you've got your thingy, so we'll go into the downloads folder, find the emerald ROM you just downloaded, which mine is here, emerald1, so let's extract files, I think I have an emerald folder as well, so Pokemon emerald, there we are, let's just pop it in there, and we're going to rename this one to also example, so Pokemon emerald example.gba. And that's awesome. So now you find the Moemon Emerald Lunar IPS file, click that, and then find your ROM again. So mine is Pokemon Emerald example, and do the same thing again. What you do is go into copy, go into paste, example2.copy. So just in case it goes wrong, because you never know with Lunar IPS, but Pokemon Emerald example.gba, click that, click open file was successfully patched. Now we're going to test it again just to see if it works. I'm just going to get rid of that ad real quick. Visual Boy Advance, open it up. I'm going to make it full screen. Uh, open. Uh, we go out of that. That's in Fire Red. Go into Emerald, not Pokegen. <laughs> go down Emerald. Emerald example.gba. Let's uh, full screen that again. Speed through. And we'll get to the part where he sends out a Pokemon again, and that's how you know it works. So, my name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon, and as you can see, the Lotad here, the Lotad, is now a Moemon. So that's how you know it works. It won't be an ordinary Lotad, it will be a, a Moemon, but yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. It's not that hard. It's not as hard as people make it out to be. You just have to have a little bit of time and patience, but anyways... I'm also going to show you how to randomize it. If you don't want to know how to randomize it, stop the video here. Uh, because, yeah, that's not going to be important. What you want to do is, yeah, close that off. Uh, we'll go back onto Google. Type in Universal Randomizer Pokemon. And it should come up with a page here at the top one. And then we click this on the side, Downloads. Click click uh, get it by clicking here that should come up with a save option you've saved that and that's also a zip file now I already have this I already have this sorted so I'm not gonna extract it anywhere because I already have it and I'm worried it might mess something up but to close that off what you want to do is you want to extract it into its own file uh, randomizer and it's there it should be a dot jar file so you're gonna need Java to open it so what you want to do is click click on it open open with Java and it should come up in a few seconds whenever it decides which uh, I've just got to wait for it because my computer's not the, gra uh, the greatest but yeah it's gonna come up with Universal Pokemon Randomizer click open the ROM open the ROM you've just made so for this example I'm gonna use the Moemon Fire Red I've just made so that's Pokemon Fire Red example.gba click on that and then wait for that to load and it will come up with all of these options now they're all they all have like their own little things, so you can update moves and if you hover over it, it should give you a little box saying what they do. So let's do that again. Hover over it and a box comes up saying if this is checked, moves will be updated to the Gen 6 stats where possible. And you can read everything and check what it does. It will tell you everything and what it all does. So what you want to do is for example, let's do update moves, change impossible evolutions, lowercase Pokemon names. Give national decks at start, Pokemon base statistics, let's leave them the same, so Pokemon stats are all the same. Abilities, let's keep them the same as well. Start a Pokemon, let's make them completely random. Basic Pokemon with two evolutions, so I won't get any legendaries or anything like that. Randomize starter held items, 
Let's also change the types, because why not? Uh, let's make them follow evolutions as well. Pokemon movesets, let's do random completely. Uh, trainer Pokemon, let's make them completely random. But make sure the rival carries his starter through the game. Try to use Pokemon with Simmons. No, let's not do that. Let's do... Don't use Legendaries. And no early Wonder Guards. That means you won't fight Shedinja really early on. Uh, Wild Pokemon. Now, here's where things get a bit weird. What you want to do is you want to hover over them. Random will completely randomize the Wild Pokemon in every area. That should mean there are many different Pokemon in each area. If you do area one-to-one -one mapping, each Pokemon in a given area will be replaced by another Pokemon in every stop the slide it appears in. So, for example, if you go into the cave on Fire Red, if you go into a cave where you can usually find Zubats and Geodudes, instead of finding Zubats and, Ge and uh, Geodudes, you'll find two Pokemon, two different kinds of Pokemon. It'll be different, it, you won't find a Zubat and a Geodude, you'll find two other Pokemon, but that's all you'll find. You won't find any other stuff, that's all. But, if you go into a global one-to-one -one mapping, that means every place a certain Pokemon appears in, it will be replaced by another set Pokemon. And this mode doesn't, yeah. That means that everywhere a Pokemon appears, it will be replaced with another Pokemon. So, for example, if you go into that cave where you can only find Geodudes and Zubats, every place where you can find a Geodude and a Zubat will be replaced with the same Pokemon. For example, if Geodude gets replaced with, oh, I don't know, Ekans, everywhere you can find a Geodude, you can find an Ekans instead. So that's pretty much what it means. You can also do randomized held items, so while Pokemon can hold any kind of item. Set minimum catch rate, I don't particularly use that myself. But you can also change legendaries. Now, this one in the middle will make it so that every static Pokemon will be replaced with another one. A legendary Pokemon will be swapped for other legendaries. A non-legendary Pokemon will only be swapped for other legendaries. But this one just makes it completely random. So... You can find a Mew in the game corner or fight Magic Magikarp instead of Mewtwo, something along those lines. TM moves you can randomise, move tutors you can randomise, in-game trades, now you can make it so that you can only... It randomises the Pokemon that you receive, or it can be the Pokemon you give and receive, it doesn't matter, you can do whichever. Now you can also randomise field items, shuffle just means that every item you can find on the ground will be replaced with another item you can find on the ground so at the start of the game where you find a pokeball you could find uh, a great ball instead but you won't find items you can't find on the ground such as you'll only find one master ball and it could be anywhere but randomize makes it so that every time an item can be found it's completely random and you can find any item you can see you can can, you can grab any kind of item, you can grab multiple Master Balls and stuff like that. But once you've clicked all the things that you want to do, or once you've clicked all your options, just click Randomize to save, uh, click Randomize, and then it will let you save the file. So we did Fire Red, so let's Pokemon Fire Red. And let's save it as Moe, uh, Moemon Randomized. 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 All caps, that doesn't, it doesn't matter. So you've saved that, wait for it to be done. Do you want to keep a log? Now this will tell you everything that it's done, so I don't like to do that because it's not randomized then. But yeah, now it will come up with a little thing saying randomization completed, and it will give you your seed details, and I don't know what that does, but it doesn't really matter. But yeah, click done, close that off, close that off, go back into Visual Boy Advance, and open up, it's going to Fire Red, let's go back into Fire Red. Uh, Fire Red and click Moemon randomized and I'm going to zoom through this again and you'll know that it's randomized because the Pokemon that Professor Oak will throw out in a second uh, this world and it, he's throwing out a mill tank instead of the Niran so there we go that's how to mando uh, that's how to randomize Pokemon Moemon for Fire Red and Emerald it's, ex it's exactly the same thing for Emerald there's no change in what you do so I'm not going to show you that, but anyway, that concludes that. That concludes this tutorial. So if you enjoyed this and if it helped, if this helped you, don't forget to leave a like. It really is appreciated. And yeah, if you, if anyone else asks you how to do it, refer them to this video. So thank you for watching, guys. I've been Wanzy Bayonet, and I hope that this helped. Uh, yeah, I will see you in the next episode of whatever I make. Peace out, guys. Bye.